Okay guys, so this first part is pretty basic. You want to essentially baton in your blank. And I am choosing to make this out of um, willow. So the top two woods, at least here in Alaska, to make this kind of all out of would have to be birch and willow. Now birch is probably my favorite, or sorry, willow is probably my favorite. So that's why I chose it. And when doing anything with willow like this, you're gonna wanna go for the heartwood. Now I couldn't get entirely heartwood here. You guys can see here, you know, there's still some heartwood, but for the most part, this is 100% heartwood. And that's because the heartwood is stronger and generally a higher quality of wood than just your outer, you know, kind of white parts. In addition to that, this piece was partially rotten because as I showed uh, getting this, this was a dead tree, recently dead, but it was still dead nonetheless. So that meant that it was starting to rot in certain areas. So by targeting, specifically targeting the uh, core, you know you're gonna get a solid piece of wood that's not going to be as rotten. So that's why I chose the, the core of it. So let's get into it.
So just like on an awl that you'd see on a multi-tool, this has a similar premise that, you know, it has a tip that, you know, leads up to a shank that flattens out. So that's one of the biggest things. Remember to keep it consistent and to keep it even. So that's the biggest thing I can uh, recommend to you guys. In addition, you want to make the point. This one I made just a little bit too thin, so it bent a little bit. But for the most part, you want to make it thin and have a nice, long, gradual taper. This will make piercing things like birch bark without tearing it or ripping it or stripping it apart a lot easier so there you guys go as you guys can hopefully see it's pretty basic and pretty easy but it is important to know how to make these guys and it can be very useful especially if you're doing a lot of things like birch bark paper crafting and that kind of stuff and of course something like the battle lore makes this job very easy with a very fine tip and nice belly